Imagine, it's the early 1980s, and you front a red-hot British rock band that's starting to break through in England and America, riding high on a breakout debut album and ambitious second LP. What would you do when it came time to make the always pivotal third album? 40 years ago, the Pretenders rose above expectations to release the band's most successful full length. This week, we have five fun facts about the Pretenders' 1984 classic, Learning to Crawl. I'm Scott T. Sterling, and this is the Rhino Report. Fact number one, the album features some of the most popular songs in the Pretenders' catalog. Back on the Chain Gang, Middle of the Road, 2,000 Miles, Learning to Crawl is packed with fan favorites that still generate spins on radio and playlists around the world. All three songs have Spotify numbers in the multiple millions, with 2,000 Miles leading the pack with a whopping 115 million plus plays on the streaming platform. Fact number two, The Pretenders made a new Christmas classic with 2,000 Miles. For the album's second single, Chrissy Hine wrote a modern Christmas classic. With lyrics about a couple separated by distance over the holiday season, the song has become a December favorite, thanks to references to Silent Night, Falling Snow, and Yuletide vibes. The song was most popular in the UK, where it peaked at number 15 on the singles chart in December 1983. Fact number three, the album found Chrissy Hine growing as a songwriter, a top-notch songwriter and lyricist from the band's earliest recordings. Learning to crawl, found Hines' songwriting powers growing in leaps and bounds. Addressing the realities of being a bona fide rock star, as well as a new mother, the LP solidified her status as one of the best songwriters of her generation. Fact number four, Chrissy Hines' first child was the inspiration for the album title. With the singer giving birth to her first child, daughter Natalie, Hines was inspired to title the album Learning to Crawl as her tribute to her baby as well as the band's new beginnings with two new members, guitarist Robbie McIntosh and bassist Malcolm Foster. Fact number five, Learning to Crawl still stands as the Pretender's most successful full length. Given the number of hits on the album, including top five Hot 100 hit Back on the Chain Gang, Learning to Crawl ran up the charts to peak at number five on the Billboard 200. The LP is certified platinum in the US with more than a million copies sold and gold in the UK, which signifies more than 100,000 copies sold. Pretenders Learning to Crawl is to be reissued on crystal clear and standard black vinyl on May 3rd, available to pre-order right now at rhino.com. Celebrating the album's 40th anniversary, this reissue is true to the original 1984 release with the artwork and track listing remaining the same. This pressing of Learning to Crawl features the 2018 remastered audio by the album's original producer, Chris Thomas, on vinyl for the very first time. Now, what's your favorite Pretender song? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like our report, make sure to ring that bell, like, and subscribe to The Rhino Channel.